Alright guys, today we're doing How Great Thou Art, and here it goes. Okay, so uh, here's our arrangement for this. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek. Uh, these are my easy piano lessons. I have a website at webpianoteacher.com and you can find all the part twos and threes to my hymn arrangements on there. And you can only get them there because these are my own arrangements and uh, you, you can't get them anywhere else except my website. But here we go with the, the free part one here. Let's start with a high F way up here. Here's middle C, so we're way up here. F, 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 D. There's our verse. And as soon as we play that D here, we want to start with the left hand on a B flat. Now here's middle C, so we come down here to this lower B flat here, and then up to an F, up to a middle C, then up to an F, and then down to a D. So is what we have, okay? So then together, left, 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 left. This is a rubato uh, tempo, which means you kind of go in your own time. It's not, don't try to be metronomic or right, uh, <clears throat> you know, in time. Try to take your time and, and play with feeling. <clears throat> and we're going to have a single F here, the same F we started with. And then we're going to play that F again. This F is actually this one, okay? So it's that high F again with an A with an F. Can roll it. Always roll the chords if you want to. Um, and then play that again. And then we're going to do a G, B flat, and G up here. Okay, and I'm actually going to add this chord again right here because I didn't write it. So uh, we need that there. <coughs> subjective. You can use whatever works for you. There are bad fingerings, however, so try to stay away from those. Alright, so we play F, and then together here, left, together, left, then together here, left, together, left. So we have, from the beginning, bum, bum. time there. Uh, kind of push and pull with the tempo. Um, that's the way I like to make my arrangements. So uh, Then we come here and go G, B flat, E flat. Da -da. And then we'll have G, B flat, E flat, and then the high G. Okay, and then we'll, I have a little, uh, actually put a, an arpeggiate, arpeggiated sign there, so roll it upwards there on that one. So you can roll that one. Um, left hand is going to do a low E flat down here. Then up to a B flat, up to an E flat, up to a G. Now, up to a B flat, cross over, and then up even higher to the next E flat. Okay, so we have together here, left, 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 together. And then I have this, kind of like that A natural in there. Okay, that's just my own <coughs> uh, arrangement thrown in there. Because when we do an arrangement of a hymn, we're going to play... You know, the, the melody, of course. We want the melody to be heard. And uh, what makes the arrangement special is those little extra things that we might put in. Our little different way of playing it, but not too much. It's a little different. So that's what, what I'm putting in right here. And then we'll continue. 
continue with uh, lesson two and three on the, on the website, webpamteacher.com. But uh, let's go ahead and do this. A natural, E flat, and G. Now that kind of sounds off when you play it all by itself and isolate it, but uh, it'll sound fine in the mix with everything else. So play that and then go up to a B flat. So this A is A natural is actually leading to the B flat. But um, if you hear, you know, you hear the A going to the B flat there. <clears throat> And then we're just going to play G, B flat, E flat, G. So, ba, ba, ba. And then here we're going to play a low E flat with that chord up there. So, starting here. All right. Now, let's put it all together. Let's go from the beginning to the end here for this free part one. And uh, hear what that sounds like. Enjoy it.